Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to learn about composition and coprogramming language. People from C++, Java or Python background, you would be familiar with composition. Let me give you some example to make you understand this. Let me take the important things that is required for any coprogramming language. Consider that I have a structure called as person. And let me take name. phone number and then I'll take address let me take some methods to get input and print the pro print the output what I'm getting let me take a method to receive inputs so I'll be creating a pointer receiver there I'll say set per and here I'm going to get input fmt.scan and I'll start getting the input there I'll get input for name phone number and then finally I'll get input for address and I'll try to print it say person p person it's just a normal value receiver because I'm not going to do any modification or I'm not going to get any input I'm going to only print so I'll say fmt dot print ln. let me print the name fmt dot print ln. and print the phone number Finally, I'll print the address. So let's say p dot address. Now here I'll be creating a variable called as pr for person, and then um, I'll say pr dot set per, and then I'll call pr dot get per. So let me save this code let's check whether any problem is there yeah done so let me run this code go run composition let me get input I'll say Samuel phone number and then uh, the address so you got your output here name phone number and address now if I see uh, I want to have some input for date of birth a person having date of birth now instead of going and doing it all over again here, consider that I have already existing and perfectly running code called as date program. And that code is here, let me just put it here. Consider that I already have a code called as date and which is already perf perfectly running and which has some uh, input for day, month and year. Again, day, month and year is getting printed. So instead of creating it all over again here, going and getting day, month, year or date of birth, what I can do is that I can create a variable called as dob of type date. Now what I'm doing here is composition, right? So I am just creating a variable for the structure date inside my person, right? People those who have already watched my video on um, embedding this will be like uh, something similar to that if at all you have not watched that video I have given the link in the description please go and watch it so that you can understand that easily right so now what I am doing here is that I am composing I am just bringing in the uh, what date structure right and then creating a variable for it right I am creating a variable of type date right so as I create variable of type string variable of type integer variable of type string again I am creating a variable of type date right now what I can do is that instead of uh, getting input for day, month and year every time, I can go and call the method set date and get date with the help of the variable dop. Right? What I'm going to do here is that, so here in set date, I'll just call dob dot set date. Now here this dob is inside person, so I have to give p dot dob dot set date. 
Now, people those have already watched my video on embedding, you would have seen something. I would have not given DOB. I would have given only date, right? I would have given the uh, st previous structure's name alone, right? I have not created any variable. But here I am specifically creating a variable. If I don't create a variable and just give a structure name alone, that becomes embedding. I am embedding the entire class in here so that I can access all the properties of the class with the help of p variable itself. But here I cannot do that, right? So I cannot call the set date method with the help of p. This is not possible. It will throw me error, right? See, you can show it's throwing error because set date is undefined because p doesn't know what is set date. What p knows is only dob. So I have to give p dot dob dot set date. Then it will go and call the set date method, right? Now here after printing everything, I want to print the or after the name, I want to print my date of birth. So what I can do here is that I'll call dob dot. Sorry, before do that, I need to say p dot dob dot get date. So when I call this method, it will go and call the method which is created for my date class. Sorry, date structure. Fine. So what I'm doing here, just simply creating a variable for the date structure so that I can call the methods which is there inside, uh, which is which is associated with my date structure, right? And that is what I'm doing here. I'm just calling the set date method with the help of the dob variable, which is there inside my person. So I have to access it. I can access it only with the help of person variable, right? So p dot dob dot set date. Because set date is there inside my, so set date is associated with my date structure, right? So let me save it and run it for you. Let's say go run composition. So let me get input for my name. Next is phone number and then location. Then I have to get input for date of birth, I believe, right? Because I'm getting input for name, phone number and address and then it will call the set date method set date method is here it will get day month in here so uh, let me give 20 12 so it gives you name yes and date of birth phone number and address right so whenever i feel that i already have a perfect running uh, structure right or perfect running program with some structure and some data inside that Instead of creating it all over again, I can just compose it here inside my newly created structure, right? So with the help of creating variable for that particular structure, it becomes a composition, right? Fine guys, I'm done with this video. If you have any doubts or queries in this video, please uh, comment in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.